Hey, Jake, what a game that was, man. I mean, it was like theater, and the tension kept growing more and more and more. And we talked about it. There were a lot of really defining plays in that game. The first one for me, I think, was kind of overlooked a little bit of how difficult to play it actually was. So you got first and second. You got no outs. Riley is running down the line. Left hand hitters, the ball's coming back, and he's got the tarp in front of him. That's a really hard play to make. Absolutely it is. You're running. You got so many interferences happening. You see that ball coming back over his shoulder. What a catch. Yeah, you don't want Harper to get another opportunity to swing a bat in that situation. Without question. The biggest play for me in this game that got overlooked was the Trey Turner play. Right here, you see Albies is going to get the first hit of the ball game. You've got Acuna on first base. This seemingly was just a throw in, but Trey Turner not fielding it cleanly right here and heads up base running by Acuna. What happened after this, after this play right here, Austin Riley struck out. With If that play's made, Trey Turner catches that cleanly. That run doesn't score. That run come back. And big. And, le- and getting to the big runs now, let's take a look at the Darno at bat. And yet, you know, what's interesting about this is that the one thing I don't th- think people remember, they were teammates together in New York. So Darno and Wheeler, he caught Wheeler. So he had a real familiarity with Wheeler. Absolutely. And actually, his career numbers against Wheeler have been really good. And this is his at bat against him a year ago. 96 away, 97 in, 98 middle cut, and then boom, 97 middle in, takes him deep. It's important to remember that at that at bat because we're going to look at last night at bat. This is first at bat against him last night. Slider, first pitch slider, Jake. So remember that. First pitch slider. Then he goes fastball, beats him. Fastball in, beats him. Another slider away, chases. Fastball up, strike, strikes him out. So he goes slider, fastball, slider, fastball up. Second at bat, first pitch. He was ambushing him, but he got beat. I think that was more of his sinker that got in on his hands, and he popped it up. So now we go third at bat. Now remember all the sequences. So what are you throwing now after watching all of that? What pitch are you going to? Well, I I think I'm going to go to the sweeper. Exactly what he did. But when I think about it and you see the swing in the first at bat, Dan, what got me was he threw a a good first pitch strike that he swung and missed at. The next sweeper was really good down and away. Darno saw it good enough not to swing and miss to foul it off. Let you know he's seeing the sweeper well. Now we're going to go to the uh, Austin Riley at bat. This is a really interesting at bat for me because I want to get your feel here. So fastball in, he beats him in. Fastball up, ball one. Throws a fastball right by him, center cut. He goes slider away. So he's missed on the first pitch slider, fastball away, and then the second slider he threw came back with another slider. So do you feel in that situation after he threw a fastball by him that he didn't catch up with, was that the correct pitch in that situation? Well, I think we, we know it certainly wasn't the correct pitch. And here, here's what I'll say. If a guy is not on the fastball, it, 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 it's not rocket science with pitch by pitch. You just should be reading the swing that happened in front. It was clear that Austin Riley was having trouble. And the whole Atlanta Braves team, for that matter of fact, was having trouble with velocity. Here's what you can't do, Dan. When a guy is late on the fastball or not out in front on time, you certainly cannot throw anything soft in the zone. Guess what? He's going to be on time. Riley was even out in front of that ball, but still, those big league hitters, if they are late and behind on the fastball, they are going to be able long through the zone. If that is a strike breaking ball, you're in trouble. Great point. So now we're going to go to the play ending ga- the game. Of the, I mean, this was tremendous on both sides. We're going to break it down two different ways. So we're going to look at Harris to begin with, Jake. We're going to look at the, the, the game in real sp- play in real speed. Fastball, Castellano crushes it. Great field. How far field. he went to get it. Yeah, look how far he went to get it. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to really look at it now. Okay, look at his read and break with the ball off the bat to begin with, number one. Number two, then look at his burst, his second step to get to the ball. Then look at his route and his angle as he goes towards the fence and how effortlessly he runs. Look at at that first step. Look at his burst speed, then look at the angle. So he knew exactly where he was, open hand, 
trying to feel for the wall. I mean, he did this everything ideally perfect. Now, from here, he did not do it perfect. He over, he just turned and he fired. And Wiley made a great play. We're gonna go back and look at this one again. So it's not that. Look at Albies, look where Wiley is. Al, RC is not out far enough. Albies is too close on a trailer. He should have way more separation than that. The Braves caught a break here because when Harris threw the ball, he overthrew both of them. It reminded me of the Jeter play right here. The instinctive play that Riley showed to trail the runner and make the back play is exactly what Jarek, J Derek Jeter did. They were down 2-0 in this series. This was a game-changing play. Look at Riley here. He sees, he sees the throw coming in. He's now trailing the play. Albies is completely out of position. Albies takes a flare at the ball right here. Thank God she doesn't touch it. The ball gets by him. See him take the swipe? But look at, look at the instincts of Riley. Very similar to the Jeter play. He makes a snap throw to first place. I love watching plays that show the instincts of Major League Baseball players. That's a baseball awareness instinctive play and honestly gave the uh, Braves a chance now to win this series. Yeah, pretty fitting when you see Austin Riley come up big. We talk about both sides of the ball. You're talking about Atlanta hero forever. They go on to win this series just because of Austin Riley's play in those last two innings.